welcome back to Chrissy! Surviving Mars! We are on Mars, not on, not on, not on Weimar. We are indeed on the Rad planet. And let's see what we were up to. We wanted to build this over here. So why don't we build that? Why is there no sound? Am I, am I just crazy or is there actually no sound? You know what? I might have muted the game. Uh, let me check that out real quick. Uh, no. No, it shouldn't be muted. Hello? Ah, there's sound. I hear sound. It's very quiet. But it's there. Maybe I should turn it up a little bit. Okay, that's maybe a little better. Uh, I don't know for you. I, uh, for me at least it is. So we get a metal extractor. We get that just... Uh, let's get that right over here. And I want it like that, sure. There we go. Uh, I hope that actually works. I, I've expected to actually be built in the middle of it, but oh well. Um, maybe that is good enough. Uh, I ha you know what? I should have checked this. Okay, it only it has like. Oh, you know what? I could have built it right there, like there. Um. Oh, you know what? You are actually not overlapping this deposit. You're overlapping that deposit. I see. So, 30 more hours until we can get more humans, which is nice. We should have a rocket over there. We do. We don't really have much money. Actually, 300 might be a good amount. Now, we could get a bunch of drones, that's for sure. I could also buy a rocket. I need th <laughs> 3 million. No, 3,000 million. I could get a bunch of over the power. Not actually that many. Yeah, everything is very expensive. We have some money. Not as much as we would like. Uh, what about my... Yeah, no, that... Uh, we we're just here. What about this? Um, we can get more crowdfunding. I think, yeah. Receive... A, no. Uh, Martian patents, yes. 5 million money. That's pretty good. What are we researching at the moment? Low high rise. Uh, that's like better apartments or something. So this thing is going to be built soon. Uh, we just need a few more metals. Where's my... You're over here. Okay. We have a bunch of metals over here, but I still have no idea how to get the metals from there to down here. I, I don't know how exactly they exchange minerals still. There's more to the barren environment. Okay, we got a bunch of new research options. Deep metal. Can explore deep metal and rare metal deposits. Digging deep can be dangerous, but it is necessary for sustained metal production. Well, that's pretty good. Um, we do have this underground metal extractor. That's going to be good enough, once we actually have enough concrete. We should have enough concrete nearby. Uh, they just don't want to produce it, I think. That does mean that this guy has a new task that he can go to. And why don't you just research this thing down here? That's good. We don't have enough funding. Uh, th seven more hours and we can get new humans. Which is going to be very nice. We definitely need more humans. Uh, I don't... I'm gonna build a couple of farms over here. Like, build me a hydroponics farm twice. And I don't know if I need, like, a diner or something over here. But I, I think I'm gonna get one either way. Uh, we can get a medium dome now. Uh, or we could research medium domes so that's pretty good um, we don't need a nursery we need like we need uh, maybe a space bar dining relaxation dining social food give me just a diner and we're gonna have it be placed like that yeah and that's good enough um, hopefully these guys are going to work on the farms and they of course have to work over here we get some people over here. How can I get people? Free slots reduce. Yeah, how do I? Nope. Okay, how do I get people to work on here? Research complete. I don't know. Uh, they do need water, which they do have. Not enough workers. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, research complete. Low high. Uh, what is this? Low G high rise. Uh, Apartments, okay, that's pretty good. We don't have enough polymers though, so that's not good. 
Um, general training. Colonists without the proper specialization suffer a l lower work penalty. Yes, give me that. Next. And four more hours. How's my power looking? Power's looking fine. Uh, we are producing a little bit more than we need. Which is good. Um, it's really going to not work out the way once we have all these things up and running, but can't really build much else, but maybe a few more of those. So you're gonna make polymers, which is very nice. We just need water, I believe, for it. And some fuel. We do have fuel, so that's good. This guy, of course, is not going to get any fuel. Can I build a second fuel? Oh, I don't think I can. Discovered. Rapid sleep. Uh, colors need sleep for only one hour and regain extra sanity when sleeping. Uh, sleep those little slices of death. How I love them. Edgar Allan Poe. Well, I definitely want that. Also, uh, where is this mushroom farm? Yeah, low G fungi. All fungi are edible. Some fungi are only edible once. I didn't notice it last time, but I was told Sector by scan. Turco. Not in the comments, but on Steam, actually. But still, I, I thought it was funny. So I, I wanted to say it. To, to mention it, you know. That's what I do. I for you. Uh, you this are digging. Oh really, that's all you had? The long time dream of the human civilization as a whole, to settle another world, has come true. To be among the people who made this happen makes me feel enthusiastic and proud. We are already swarmed with applicants, applications for relocation on Mars, and the wanderlust and enthusiasm, enthusiasm of these people makes me proud to be a human being. The Red Planet continues to be inhospitable and even dangerous, but we as a species had always displayed, uh, displayed the ability to adapt and improve. The adverse conditions will only make us try harder, so I say bring it on. The colony has been evalu evaluated positively. Additional colonists can be called from, from Earth. From Earth, looks like alive. Uh, looks life. Looks life. What? Looks like we got a serious adventure ahead of us. Uh, that. Okay. Yeah. It certainly does. Let's call more people. Uh, did we get more long? We did get some funding out of it, but we just need. We just need a lot of people right now. So, let's just launch it. Yeah, rocket capacity is 12. Let's launch it. And, yeah, we just need this rocket back. And get more people on, on the Earth here. Uh, on Mars. Stored waste rock. That's not good. Uh, we're gonna build another few... Uh, well, I can't really. Because I don't have the range to go over here. Well, I suppose you have to use these then. Get some more waste rock dumps. I, I really hope we can do something with all this waste rock at some point because, damn, we're getting a lot of it. Like, I, I don't know what to do with all this waste rock. I probably could just say, hey, don't don't get any more concrete right now. Like, turn off the production of concrete. We have way too much of it. Um, you as well. Just don't don't produce any more right now. We have 500. I think that's enough. We do need some more food, and we're gonna do the same over here. It's like uh, some wheat grass, wheat grass, and wheat grass, and you're going to get leaf crops and leaf crops. Okay. Yeah. Once you're done, I hope you just start over again. Uh, we do have enough food right now, at least. Don't have any rare metals. We do have some polymers, electronics, machine parts, and fuel. But not enough. The rocket is on its way. But we need it to be here. Uh, can I be like, hey, we don't need that many workers in here. This is the space bar. Uh, there can be a lot more residents over here. Yeah, what about... No, the diner doesn't definitely needs more people. Uh, the infirmary. Why, why don't you just stop work on this and yeah, start working over here. We need the polymers. Oh man, that's not <laughs> that's not enough. You produce like one every other five days or something. That's not a good production value. We definitely need more of those. We also need to research that we can build some some other stuff. And we do need more fuel for the rocket. What are you doing? You're bringing the 
something down. The polymers, why? Maybe something needs repair over here? Sector scan. Sector scan, no resources. Nothing to be worried about. We can deep scan our systems again. Like, so that's pretty good. Once we can do that, actually. What's this? Trades, okay. Homeless colonists. There are currently no colonists in this category. Unemployed. Problematic. Let's look at our trades. We have a couple of nerds, which makes me, you know, just happy. We have a hippie, we have a religious people. Uh, that's a probably good, I guess. We do have a gambler. We have some lazy... We have three lazy people. How did that happen? How did you... Like, you, these are the first people of... On Mars. How could you accept anyone that is lazy? How can you accept anyone that isn't, like, super advanced in everything? Like, has an IQ of 150 and is just amazing at it. Just everything they do. That's the kind of people I would send on Mars first. The best of humanity. Because if they die, no one is going to... Min no, no. Um, <laughs> and maybe that's the reason why they sent so... These, uh, like, not so good people. Because if they die, no one really is going to miss them, huh? But yeah, I would send the best of the best if I had to establish a moon colony, uh, a Mars colony. Luckily, I don't really have to apart from this game because I would kill all of those people by accident, is the thing. Mm. Uh, I would just be like, whoops, let's send the other batch. Let's do it like the, the Soviets did. We're just uh, gonna send two million over here. Whoever survives, good to you, but there's probably going to be like 8.9. Nine, nine, nine million dead or something. Okay, the rocket has arrived, so let's just put it down right where the other one landed. Come down, don't crash on my land, uh, drones. I can see it. There it comes. Nice and steady. Our fellas like rocket. There it is. And you have 12 passengers and 12 food. Welcome on Mars, you fools. Yeah, run! Run for your life! Small steps for humanity, but a huge leap for these passengers. Uh, I wish you would not live all in this dome. Like, go go into this dome. No, we want everyone over here. Um, just put a couple of people over there. I do have homeless people now. Go over there! What? Okay, we don't have homeless people anymore. But they're also not living where I want them to live. No. Let's say you can only have that many colonists. So we have we have a couple of homeless people now. Um, send them over here. Like send them send them over here. Sector scanned. Yeah, we, we do have harmless people, I know. Send them over... Send, no. Are you stupid? <laughs> I want you to send them... can rename them, but I, I want you to... to go over here. Okay, maybe, maybe I can't. Maybe they'll find out... No, they just put up... Just go back in here, huh? Uh, wait a second, maybe if I... I just close this like get out of here you fools okay four out of four they should be going over here what's this yeah yeah move into this dome don't pause the game move into this dome yeah that's good don't know how many okay there they are running over Good. Now that you live in this dome, I want you to start producing metals. Yeah, I guess you can also start producing those things, but... Okay, there's more peasants coming over. And we're still going to... I don't know what's going on over here. Like, I hope I have enough stuff for maintenance and all that. We don't need that anymore. Building not working. Yeah, I know. Okay, there's more people coming over, that's really good. Six people over here now. We have no longer any homeless people. You do not have power. Hmm. That might be a problem. Go over here and have some power then. Come on drones, do your work. 
Uh, they did take some of this resource and put it somewhere else. Where exactly? Dust storm approaching. I don't really know where they put all that iron. But they did put it somewhere else. There's a dust storm. Yes, I know. It's a dust storm approaching. What's my power grid doing? Looks very dusty everywhere. Uh, power grid is not doing fine right now. We need some more. Um, what? These wind turbines are actually kind of sheep-ish. The problem is they do cost me uh, maintenance in machine parts. And we all know that I don't really have too much of that. But we are going to m mine some resources now. So this is really good. Getting these resources and you're just making more food which is also nice. Don't know if you need anything else but you're not gonna get a park like these people down here. Um, the morale is pretty bad over here. The comfort. One call it because they satisfy the interest luxury. No available service buildings. Yeah. Wow. Who would have thought that on Mars you won't experience too much luxury. Uh, commit suicide if you want. I, I'm gonna get new humans from a Earth rather soon. Like we can send this rocket back fault reported. soon enough. Uh, there's a cable fault right there. Go and repair it, fools. Hmm. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, we did raise these things real fast, though. So that's pretty good. We can't upgrade them right now because we don't have enough... Uh, We don't have enough resources, like... We actually do have some polymers, I don't know, are you working on those now? Hello, Ryan. Good enough? Thank you, sir. <laughs> my... My, my nephew, yeah. My nephew came in. <laughs> okay, you're actually producing a lot more now, now that you have three workers. That's actually much better. With these polymers, I can actually go ahead and upgrade this because, um, yeah, because we can afford that now. Isn't that nice? And that's going to help us out. I, I'm just gonna see. Like, we don't have any polymers up here right now. Actually, we do have three, but they should get more from down here where we have much more and get them up there. We don't have much. Uh, what's my food protection? I would love to see that. Uh, we have a water shortage, really. I suppose we do, sir. We do have some water stored, but uh, we could build another one of those things. Humankind might be on the verge of a new golden age, and we have to be the ones who ride the crest of that wave. Oh, huh. a new era of scientific discovery is ahead of us, and we are the ones who are blessed with the opportunity to be on Mars, a completely new territory where new scientific discoveries lie behind the corner. We're talking about new ideas which would sweep the human minds and the market and give us a tremendous head start in the future. The primary reason behind this creation of this colony is scientific, and this is what we expected to do, to push the boundaries of human knowledge. Have 40 technologies researched at Sol 100. That's... I think that's not very unlikely. Uh, that's not very unlikely. Send this research ship off and we're going to... Wow, what what can you do? Nothing, uh, actually. Well, send you back and get some power or something. And... We do need another water station. Uh, moisture evaporator. We can't build that. I could build this. And I am going to build it. Uh, let's actually build it down here, where we have a second water Sector then. Scanned. We're gonna get some pipes over, just like that. Crop failure reported. Mm, yeah, the crop failure, that's not good. If you didn't notice, crop failures are usually rather bad. And then you're gonna get, like, that. And no, that's really ugly. Can you not? Okay, that's better. That's better. It's still really, really ugly, but it's it's better than nothing. And now we are going to research the last few sectors over there. I mean, we're going to research, uh, scan all of the sectors, but these ones are the most important ones, of course. So you ever one is traveling to Earth, which is nice, and you probably are being filled with the fuel now, which is also good. Though I would love you to prioritize fuel. We, you do have enough fuel stored, which is nice. 
So, never mind. Just produce as much polymers as you can. And we're gonna get more humans over here. How's my food looking? We consume five food and produce four. That is a problem. We produce one metal and we consume 2.7. That's also not good. Um, we, of course, we do produce more polymers than we use for maintenance. That's nice. We, but we don't have enough machine parts, nor do we have enough electronics. And fuel is is fine as is. So we need uh, electronics mostly here next. How do we get more electronics? I need a, I need to research for it. It's probably in the engineering, if I had to guess. Or maybe physics, robotics, machine parts. No. Yes, yes, machine parts. 3D machining um, from metals. Okay, that's pretty good. We do need to research it. So let's get rid of cloning, and this, and this as well, and this. Okay. We're gonna get the 3D machining, and then we're gonna get the rapid sleep. We're gonna get the drew dome streamlining, d and we're gonna get these... No, we don't want clones just yet. But hull polarization is also very nice. And Martian Patents is going to give us a little bit more money, which we can use to maybe just buy some machine parts real quick, because we do need them. Or else we're gonna run out of machine parts, and that's not gonna be good. We might actually send over some machine parts instead of humans. I know it sounds weird, but we probably need machine parts more than humans. Actually, now that I think about it, that doesn't sound all that weird. It sounds oddly capitalistic, which, uh, you know, we all are here. Maybe not all of us. I believe some of us are probably capital uh, communist. And there's probably a fascist or two uh, <laughs> under my followers here. Like my brother. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, so, we are producing more water, which is nice. That should give us more than enough. Yeah. Our demand is m massively met now. Uh, the disaster is going to start in an hour, and I don't think we're prepared for this. We do need more machine parts. I wish I could get some machine parts and humans, but I don't think that's a possibility. What are you doing with all these metals? Like, what are you doing with all these metals? And why are you not producing as many as I would like you to? Probably because you do have, don't have enough humans. Uh, how's the humans doing over here? Uh, definitely worse than over scan. here. Okay, no resources over here. Who would have thought? Uh, let's start down here, I guess. I could build like... What's this? That looks like the tomb of someone. No anomalies or something? Uh, we do have some money down here. And hopefully the dust storm is somewhere down here in this crater, not on top of our lovely mountain. That would be absolutely horrendous. How's my oxygen holding up? Uh, we're producing more than enough, which is good. Uh, this one seems a little bit slower. It does need maintenance, which is just two metals, that's easy enough. Uh, polymers are doing fine. Resources are low. Uh, dust storm. Where is this? Yeah, no, I don't want... <laughs> I want to see where it is, not... Okay, might be just down here, not up here. Oh, you don't work anymore, which is bad. So that's going to... Uh, we still produce enough water. Why are you not producing as much? What is this sound? Is this this dust storm? That sounds terrifying. Uh, I don't know if this is like the fog of war, or if, it, if there's actually just a dust storm down there. Uh, our rocket has arrived at home, so... Now, the thing is... Are we going to launch more humans? Or are we going to get more electronics? We could get like 20 more electronics, but I think for now we're gonna get more humans. Because we can send this back someday. Uh, that was maybe not the smartest idea. How's my research doing? It's gonna be tough without machining parts. I don't know what, what we need it for, is the thing. What do we need machining parts for? Uh, this thing, the fuel refinery. 
and the water extractor. That's actually really bad. Can I request maintenance real quick? Because I would rather have this thing running than anything else because without this thing, we won't be sending anything back to Earth. <laughs> and that is a big problem. Like, definitely repair this. I mean, I could probably... Uh, can I not take out this? Uh, that does give me electronics, but I need machine parts. Uh, can I take you out? That gives me polymers. Why don't you give me p machine parts? Hmm. That's bad. Milestone achieved. First Martian board. Oh my god, really? First Martian... Difficulty bonus score. Where do I see uh, first Martian born? Uh, yeah, well, can I, like, crop failure? Yes, I know. Mm, I'm low on machine parts. Building's not working. That does make sense. Why are you not working? Because of the dust storm? Yes, okay. Uh, that's why we have this uh, these tanks, because otherwise we would be in a little bit of a pickle. Are you maintenance? No. A drone is on his way to repair. Okay. This has been scanned, so we're gonna scan this one over here now. And you know what? While our third rocket with humans is on its way, I'm going to end the episode. I thank you and I thank all of my Patreon supporters, which is 105.05 at the moment. And I hope we will see us all in the next episode. If you enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And until next time, take care. Bye.